Hi, my lovely ladies. My name is Bren, and I am coming to you from Fake Hair Real Talk with Bren. If you are interested in purchasing some of my pieces, my own personal pieces, or pieces that I've reviewed, I also talk about tips and tricks from what I learned when we went up to Seattle with John Renault, uh, I became Core 1 and Core 2 certified. And so I'm going to start sharing more of what I learned during that trip. I give, I have giveaways. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. We also have a Facebook group as well. It is called Wig Studio One wig and topper support group. It's a service that wigstudio1.com offers uh, to support the hair loss community. They all suffer from some sort of hair thinning or hair loss, whether it may be from trichotillomania, chemo, heredity, thinning for medications, whatever the case may be, we would love to have y'all there and support you through it. I'm coming to y'all today with a wig review. This is Courtney by John Renault in Toffee Truffle, and that is 630-27. Okay, let's look at this color first. She's got a six base, and that's the darker brown that you see. And then she's got the 30, which is the red, and then the 27, the 30. It's hard to pick them out, which one's what? And the 27. It's a gorgeous color. It's one of their most popular colors. Now, this is 6F27, and I would say they're very close. Um, what I love about, well, this one has it too. It just seems, what I was going to tell y'all is, this highlight seems to be more at the root, but I don't think so, because this has that highlight up at the root too, and that prevents those knots can't not dark knots nope I don't want fleas I can't so these highlighted that's my ticket okay and I'll take y'all outside too and so that way you can see the Sun's not shining but it's still it's still good okay so she has a hundred percent hand tied mono top all that right there right there she has a lace front welded lace and John Renault said if you are going to cut your lace use their pinking shears to cut them because it helps prevent fraying but you don't have to um, and I haven't cut it with that yet I got her before I found out about the other she is Hand tied, 100% hand tied. I love a hand tied cap, guys. It's so comfortable. And you don't have to worry about weft showing if the wind blows or something. She has velvet ear tabs, and you can see the little metal stays inside. She has an extended nape with Velcro adjusters. And try not to wear out that Velcro by opening and shutting it. Um, but you know what if you did you could sew it shut but who wants to do that she is so pretty and she's super super realistic too okay let's put her on there you go <laughs> she's really really easy and I have worn her a lot 
Let's go over her measurements. My head around is 21 inches in circumference. From hairline to the tip of my chin is eight and my neck is four. So if that helps y'all figure out where she's gonna land on you, I hope it does. Um, let's see, her bangs are 10.5. The crown is 10.5. 7.5, the sides are 11, the nape is 13.5, she weighs 4.3 ounces. Let me show y'all her lace front. It's good. And that highlights there. With her having the mono, the full mono top that I showed you, you can part her that way. You could part her to the right. You could part her down the middle. That'd be cute, part her down the middle and then you can maybe even cut some other layers. You could also put a fringe or a side bang in her. Plus, you could pull her back off the face. Can I pull her back? Yeah, she's cute. She's versatile. And she has very, very, very low density. So if y'all are looking for something that's low dense, this is her. This is, y'all see, she's real low density. I'm surprised she doesn't get more attention. I was really surprised. Nobody's talking about her. I don't know why. She's great. You can put her behind your ears. That's my little sideburn. Um, you can pull her back there and then pull her back here. Let's talk permatease. Not much. She's got some here, a little here. You know how they do, just a little. To me, she doesn't have as much as my Miranda. I think she's sexy. Cute. I think she's every day. She seems every day to me. You know, something that's just casual, but still looking good too. Why isn't anybody talking about this wig, y'all? She's a good one. I think she is. Maybe I'm the one that's late to the show. Maybe everybody thinks she's fantastic and I just didn't hear about it. Here's the top. Okay, it's about to get dark, so I better hurry it up. Let's go. Hi guys. Here it is. This is overcast, um, but look at these highlights. Now they do go all the way, so if you don't like that, you could just put some root spray or furniture marker. Here's outside. It's good, right? Especially not being taped or glued. I have taped and glued her before, and it looks even more realistic. If this video helped you, like and subscribe. Bye, guys.